Army Major Nadal Malek Hassan has been charged with 13 counts of murder, 12 of them American soldiers. Far from an anomaly, the term fragging has been used to describe when one American soldier kills another American soldier. In fact, during the Vietnam War, there were over 230 documented cases of fragging with over 1,400 murders that went unsolved. While the current case of the Fort Hood shooting has received a great deal of media attention, you might be surprised to know that it's not the first case of fragging in this war, nor is it the first major case of fragging in 2009. In May of 2009, just earlier this year, Sergeant John M. Russell, a 15-year veteran of the Army, shot and killed five American soldiers on his third duty of Iraq. Do we know what his religion was? Frankly, do we even care? Does it matter to the five soldiers who've been killed? Absolutely not. Yet, when it came to Major Hassan, the first thing asked about was, is he Muslim or not? Well, for starters, let me quash one concept right away. Islam in no way endorses fighting against one's own country. Islam no way allows going against an authority. And Islam in no capacity gives somebody permission to disturb peace when peace already has been established. Why waste our time pointing a finger at our religion for the actions of a disturbed individual? For those who insist on doing so, are you also pointing the finger at Jesus for the actions of Sergeant Russell? Upon closer inspection, we find that Major Hassan and Sergeant Russell have a lot more in common than we originally thought. Five years ago, the University of California in San Diego conducted a landmark study. They studied 64 individuals from 1949 to 1999 who had been labeled as mass murderers. They discovered that the majority of these mass murderers were loners, the majority of them were obsessed with war and weapons, and they were all male. In fact, even their age averaged to 38.3. So let's look at Sergeant Russell. Sergeant Russell was 44 years old. He was a loner. He had been deemed a psychological hazard. Worst of all, he was engaged with war and weapons on a constant basis. Then we look at Major Hassan, who was 39 years old, also a loner. It was recognized by his superiors that he had some difficulties interacting with other human beings around him. And of course, being in the military was along with weapons and war all the time. So in short, Major Nadal Malik Hassan falls into the classic category of a mass murderer. The statistics back it up, his behavior backs it up, and the fact that he's a Muslim has absolutely nothing to do with his motivation. Muslims serve in the military every day, thousands of them. Do not let the actions of one disturbed individual determine the outset of the rest of them. And I know all this because I'm a Muslim who believes in the Messiah.